Okay, let's talk about sales tax commission discount. If you come along with this kind of problem, word problem, how you deal with those, okay? So this kind of problem, most probably there is two part. One, you find the sales tax or commission or discount, and they're gonna say, what is the total cost? How much is the money you're gonna end up paying or you end up saving, okay? So let's break it down here, okay? So sales tax, you can use the sales tax rule for any of them or simply you set up as a proportion okay but there is another way i will show you so i'm going to actually show you sets three different way in the, this problem okay so let's take a look on the first one here so if i make it a little bit bigger okay there you go so sales tax here you go so how much is the total we have to know the total price versus price or original price in this case 135 so that will make it 135 dollars clearly you add them 135 dollar right okay so 135 dollars so sales tax sales tax 135 if it is arithmetic class you just multiply it by seven percent it should give you $9.45, $9.45, or you can just use the proportion concept. How? You say, well, 7 over 100 is equal to X is the unknown you're looking for, the amount of sales tax you're looking for, over $135. And you do solve for x, it should give you same $9.45. Okay, now let's check the calculation here on this one. Okay, so 135. Well, maybe you're going to have a big number to calculate, so maybe you need a calculator, or you can do it manually. I've shown you how to do it manually too in earlier videos times 7%. Or multiply by number and divide by 100 is nine dollar 45 cents okay so to find the sales tax you can do either way actually it's fine but if you try to go one step ahead which is the total amount there is also two way okay I'm going to show you what are the two ways the arithmetic plain arithmetic is going to be directly you can do it you can add nine dollar 45 cents to the 135 you know that's one way is 135 plus nine dollar 45 cents okay it should give you just add it 135 okay one dollar 40 sorry 144 dollar let's have a space here 144 dollar 45 cents or second oil you can do second oil i'm going to put down second oil you can just 100 oh, that is nine dollar 45 135 times 107 percent let me show you are you going to get the same thing okay so 135 135 times 107 percent is look exactly same isn't it beautiful so you can do that or two it's going to give you 100 144.45 is the same thing as you see okay now the third way well third way is basically same you use this one again you just add it's still the same so it's your call how you do it okay guys it's your call if it is algebra class i would go with the proportion if it is basic math arithmetic class 
you go with this you know just simply multiply okay all right let's go to the next one here okay so i have this one here right mugdo paid 250 dollar for a sneaker and there is a six percent advertised discount what is discount price and what is the net amount he has to face so you know there is a two piece of information they're asking for us okay two piece of information so discount is basically same discount price is same as we can do like this 250 times six percent okay it should give you let's check it out here with the calculator 250 times six percent fifteen dollar as you see right it gives you fifteen dollar so that's fifteen dollar is what is basically your discount now again I did earlier with the proportion also you can do the same thing now what is the net amount he has to pay in order to find out the net amount right this time we are not going to add because the discount is going to be subtraction we subtract so that's the key we have to know discount is subtraction sales tax is addition commission is also addition at the end okay so again what is the net payment you just do 250 minus 15 which is 235 250 might take away to 15 if you want to do it manually right okay or use your calculator that's fine so 235 dollar or plainly you can say 250 times 100 oh sorry not 100 it's a discount right so we're going to do 100 minus six percent guys is going to be 94 percent if you know this technique you don't have to do, do this extra step that's a straight that's a straight here is going to give you answer for the net amount total total okay so it's going to be also 235 so let me show you actually does it make sense here so we can actually multiply 250 sorry 250 times 94% which is 0.94 enter it's 235 look exactly same answer 235 okay all right so see you call which way you want to go all right so let's take a look on the next one So the average price of a hotel room decreased by 60% because of COVID-19. If the average price for the hotel room was $135 the year before, what is the price now? Okay, so again, this is the very basic, you know, math. You can use arithmetic, basically, okay? Or you can set it as a proportion. It's up to you, right? So... This as well, the key here is this decrease. Again, always we should read the problem carefully, make sure what is the keyword. And of course, if you see the percentage, that means you can multiply and divide by 100. And of course, what is the original amount is given. After that, you come up with your structure, okay? So I clearly see this decreasing by what? 60%. And what is the room before it was? $135 so 135 dollar times 60 percent or i can you know do in this case just 40 percent because that's the only fees they ask us the price now so i can do 135 times 40 percent it should give you 54 dollars it's very cheap right as you see let me see it makes sense to us okay well you have a calculator you can just jump in the calculator 135 and times 0 0.40 
which is 54 yeah 54 now you want to check your answer in another way absolutely you can go for it how you can say 135 times 60 percent because some of you say oh i don't see how do you get 40 percent that is going to give you 81 dollars then of course 135 minus 81 because it's decreasing so we must subtract that's 54 dollar you can do that yeah but again you want to set up a proportion yes 60 over 100 equal to x over 135 then you solve x equal to is going to give you 81 and then of course subtract 135 minus 81 is going to give you 54 so again it depends on your call you can do many way this problem okay so either way you have this is the answer and this is the answer okay if we go back a little bit earlier no matter which way you do right you have same thing this gives you 235 235 okay if you look for total amount but if you look for only discount amount that is the only way you do you multiply okay and if i go back sorry if i go back to the first one yeah you do the same thing here okay you can see that that's nine dollar 45 cents that's nine dollar 45 cents okay that is what that is the tax that is the tax now you're looking for total amount yeah that would be total amount okay that would be total amount as you see same thing okay thank you very much for watching this video thank you